I have a large collection of logs on my property because I'm really into wood turning. But the problem is they crack. They're not in great condition. These new logs are basically from a walnut tree that was cut down here locally. So I really would like to protect them before any serious crack happens. So I came up with the idea that I could essentially mix water and cheap glue to seal the ends. So I have water in this pot. I've marked three lines. The first line is the part of water and the other two would be the parts of glue. So with that clearly understood, I pour in the glue. I gotta tell you, when I saw this later on in editing, I thought it was so cool to see that just get in there and sunken at the bottom. It was very weird and very different at the same time. Now, seriously, I need to steer at this point. What woodworker would resist using a power tool to mix this kind of stuff? So I basically took a foam brush, put it on the, the tip of my drill, and just kind of went nuts. That was very satisfying and very lazy on my part. It is ready, master. So I put the goo inside this green salad bowl. Because I figured maybe the easiest thing to do is to take the small logs and just dip them inside the bowl. Which, for the first two logs, in all honesty, that kind of worked rather well. Because they were quite lighter than the rest. But, in retrospect, I probably should have just practiced my brushing skills. which is exactly what ended up happening regardless. So you don't see it from this angle, but I'm actually holding the green bowl underneath to kind of recoup the goo that's falling down from it. Because unfortunately, gravity is not on my side right now. But hey, not too shabby at all. That thing looks well-dressed. Now for the bigger logs, since I've quit the gym and after the pandemic, I unfortunately can't lift all that heavy. So I decided to go straight to the classic proven brush approach with a little bit of dash of, shall we call it, um, creative thinking, or some people may actually call it um, blatant laziness by pouring it on and just basically spreading it around like this. Well, hey, it's cheap glue and water, I mean. Oh, it's not that bad. And it, you know, kind of goes a little bit faster. So that's essentially my little experiment of how I'm trying to protect my lumber from cracking. Um, of course, these logs are covered up by a tarp. Um, I would have left it on for the video, but you guys wouldn't have been able to see much. So I figured that for the filming, it'd be better if I take them off. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, and either way, subscribe because there's a whole other bunch of shenanigans that I'm up to that it would be cool if you guys stuck around. Take care.